uh, most likely location of the lesion. So you got your esophagus, your gastric, or your okay, so esophagus or your stomach. Cool. 48 year old presents with ER, chest pain, shortness of breath, swallowing difficulties, suddenly, forceful vomiting, subcutaneous emphysema in the neck and chest regions, air in the mediastinum, and a small pleural effusion. Okay. So I think this is probably going to be more, I mean, I'm, I'm leaning already lower esophagus because um, forceful vomiting. I'm thinking she probably tore the submucosal lining of the esophagus. Um, and with the, um, what's it called? The subcutaneous emphysema, it's going to be, it's not Mallory Weiss, it's the other one. I'm blanking on the name of it. Um, I'd pick it in a lineup for sure, but I think it's lower esophagus. Yeah, go with your gut, right? This is what what Borhaver syndrome. Borhaver, right? there you go. Yeah. Yep. And remember, uh, it's it's transmural, right? It means all layers, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Because yeah, the only way wise is the submucant submucant submucosal. Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Borhaver yes. was all the way through, and that's why I get the air and that kind of crepitus. Yep, exactly. Right. So if you have Borhaver, you're gonna get some blood, maybe blood tinge throw up, and then you're mm -hmm. gonna see maybe linear streaks or something like that on if you do an EGD or something, right? But if you have subcutaneous air, that means that the air that was in the esophagus is now released into the neck, right? Which is you know not a good thing, right? Mm -hmm. Um is Borhavers. That's like a full, full, you know, full thickness tear. Yep.